Hello guys, my name is Goldpin. Today I'll be sharing with you how you easily change up your background in Photoshop and your to give it any kind of color you want. Now, to start up with, I'll have to make a selection of the subject. But before then, let me explain what I did on these few sliders right there. So the first thing I did was make a duplicate of this background, which you see here. And I actually did my frequency separation. I have a video of that. I thought that already. And now I just tuned down the color a little bit to just color grade it. And then I made a stamp visible layout of all I did so I can be easily directed to um, mask out my subject face. Now to do that is simply click on where you have this this uh, a quick selection tool. Now select just the face, as you can see, I've selected the face. Right click on your mouse and then you click on select inverse. By doing so, you have equally selected all this background and excluding the face out of it. Now, to move you to the next step is simply to just click here where you have this icon and go over to where you have solid color. Click on solid color, it entirely fills up the environment everywhere around your subject now you can easily change in to any color you want now for this case we might just stick with uh, a very cool color like maybe this one or oh, let's go with the blues all right this one let's stick with this color now we click ok and then we come over to this uh, blending mode and we change this blending mode to where we have multiply. Can you see it? Multiply, you, you, you have to, as you can see, the edges are not that smooth, but there's a way we can equally just do that, but not to worry. Now, after doing that, we can just basically reduce our opacity, okay? If you feel that the effect is too strong, you can reduce your opacity to make it calm down a little bit now the next thing we have to do is basically come to where we have this icon because as you can see it's too bright and it's too dark in some certain parts now we just have to click on our curves clicking on our curves we can easily just group all this layer to be one so any adjustment we are trying to make it will not just affect it will affect the whole uh, entire groupings now to group we we'll simply just click on this icon here and just click on shift click on color fill now click on ctrl g to group in everything now we we'll just pick this this uh, masked stuff and put it on the group so whatever we do now it will be affected on this group now for instance i want to sorry about that i want to change my my color i can easily as you, as you can see i can easily change it without uh, uh, going over the mask anymore now i want to basically put highlights and low lights different on this image now i'll click on this icon here and click on where i have this um, dark side and reduce it down a little bit. I want to make the side that are dark darker and the side that are bright a little bit brighter. As you can see, then I'll come back to where I have the brightest side of the image and increase it a little bit. Okay. Now to do some minimal adjustment, double click on the side of the the curves now come over to where you have this blending mode and just basically pull it as you can see you are trying to blend the highlights and the shadows separately now to to click on you can easily hold down your alt key and break the slider to give it that separation from what you're doing so you can see i've been able to separate it very well now as you can see some edges are rough if you zoom in very well some edges are rough in the selection now for you to do that come over to where you have this your selection panel pick up your brush and just make sure your foreground is white and just brush around your subject now to make it look more real now as you can see i'm not entirely doing this stuff too much but you can take your time and you get the whole idea of how to go about this process
just in case you over brushed you can toggle your s to undo the effect okay now i'll just have to leave it like that i'll not take my time and start boring you with so many now to change up more colors you can easily just come over to where you double click on the color view and just move your slider to any kind of color you actually want and that's pretty much how you change from this color but i can be able to just come over to where i have uh, the contrast click on the levels hold down your alt key and just give it much more contrast and drag this inside as you can see if the image if the effect is too strong you can easily come down and just reduce opacity as you can see i've been able to tune down this image looking from the all round whites that you have seen to this effect now if you want to make a good selection like i told you just come over to where you have this your your um max and basically just use down the brush to tune down this stuff gradually but i'm not going to do that for the sake of this video i don't want it to be too long as you can see you can easily come down to more colors click on your colors and change whichever colors works fine for you if you are going with green it's fine if you are going with uh, this color it's fine whichever color you want it's fine so that's it for this video guys uh feel free to ask in drop in your questions on how you you feel about this video and support me guys just comment down the section below and let me know your thoughts about this video and as you well know i'll be putting up weekly content to actually help you so be be open to ask any questions or any kind of videos that you want to see on my channel as time goes on so stay blessed guys i love you peace out